boys and girls, it's time for our time with Mrs. Kine. And today we are doing form and we're going to do an op art and make it look like it has three dimensions. We're going to make it look 3D and we're going to start like we always do with warming up our hands. So let's get our fingers warmed up. Wiggle your fingers, roll your wrists one way, roll them the other way, rub your hands together, open and close, and get your hands ready for art. Now I'm going to use a nine by nine piece of paper, which means I'm going to cut part of my paper off and I'm gonna show you how to do that. You can do this art project with a rectangle piece of paper. I would like for mine to be a square, but that's your choice. You can decide what to do. If you decide to keep yours as a rectangle, we're gonna, you're gonna draw a few extra lines and I'll tell you when to draw those, which is fine but I'm gonna show you how to cut your paper into a square if you would like to. I told you mine is nine inches wide. I measured it. I laid my ruler across here. If you take it and put those long lines over here and measure it up, then you can see that, that is, this is nine inches wide. So now I'm gonna take my ruler, I'm gonna turn my paper. I'm gonna line those long lines up with the edge of my paper, and I'm going to make a dot right here at the nine. So I know you can barely see my dot. I'm gonna make it a little, there you go. That's my dot. And I know that that's where I want to cut off my paper. So I'm gonna line up my ruler again over here. And I am going to draw across. And that is where I'm gonna cut off my paper right here. I'm gonna cut this piece off. This will give me a square piece of paper. Now, I'm gonna turn my paper over so that black mark doesn't show. And move my scissors out of the way because I don't need them anymore. So the first step of this project is we wanna make a big cross on our paper. We want a line in the middle this way and a line in the middle that way. Now you are welcome to just try to find the middle. You can find the middle by folding your paper. Remember, you can match up your corners and fold it and find the middle. I'm gonna show you how to use a ruler and do that. So I'm gonna lay my ruler across here. And if you remember nine inches, to get to nine inches to be in the middle of that, that's gonna be four and a half inches. Four and a half and four and a half equals nine. So I'm gonna take my pen, put a dot right there. I'm gonna line my ruler up again on the side and draw this line here. Again, you can do this however you need to. And I'm gonna take my ruler, line it up here, and I'm gonna find, I need to go this way. I'm gonna line it up here and find my four and a half mark, which is right here. And I'm gonna line up my ruler, and I'm gonna make this line here. Now remember, you can fold your paper. That's a quick way to, folding your paper or if you're doing a rectangle you can try to find the middle you just want to make a big X on the paper it does not have to be perfect so don't spend a lot of time trying to make a perfect X on your paper it's okay now we have these four squares and we're gonna draw two lines that come through here that go we're gonna start on this square and come all the way over to the opposite side we're gonna draw two lines that go here and it does not have to be perfect but remember you have to cross, this is what's important, is that you cross this middle point right here where these two lines already intersected. When two lines intersect, that's a point that's important, especially in artwork. That means the artist really wants you to look at that. So I'm gonna line my ruler up, and it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not gonna have a perfect measurement, but I wanna make a line that goes all the way through from one side to the other. I'm gonna do that over here. I'm gonna line that up. Same thing, I'm not even measuring to see exactly where it's going, I'm just kind of looking, but what is the most important thing, remember, is to make sure we pass through this middle point again. When it makes sure that my ruler touches right in the middle, just like that, and it will get bigger every time. So now I'm gonna do that on this side, we're gonna make those two lines again. So I'm gonna do it here. So if I'm closer, 
Notice if I keep turning my ruler, as I keep turning my ruler here, that I keep turning it this way to keep those lines. I'm going to keep, so I'm going to do a line here. And then I want to intersect here again. So just anywhere over in here is fine. This doesn't have to be perfect, but always check before you draw your line that you've gone through the middle here. That's what we're looking for. We want all those lines to cross each other, just like that. So now it kind of looks like a starburst. So now we're going to work on drawing so kind of a rainbow line. It's a little bit flatter rainbow line, but it's not a big curve. It's just a nice, easy curve that we're going to draw. And we're going to work in every other pie. This is like a pizza pie, every other one. So I'm going to start here. And I'm going to draw four lines on this slice. So one, two, three, four. Skip this one, then go one, two, three, four. They don't have to be perfect because when we draw all this to come together, it's going to look very cool. So one, two, three, four. Notice how I keep turning my paper. One, two, three, and four. Keep turning. If it doesn't touch, it's okay. We'll come back and fix that later. Let's do one, two, three, and four. Now, every other one, we have those lines all going in the same direction. These are going to out. They curve away from the center. Now we're going to go and connect these with a curve that curves down toward the center. So we're going to go here, and we're going to draw our line going down this way. See, we went the opposite way. Do you see how this works? So now I want you to keep doing that all the way around, and you're going to curve your line toward the middle of your paper, but connect these lines together. Okay, and see this one got a little crooked. It's okay. We're going to connect these lines. We're going to connect these lines. I'm going to keep turning. I connected that one. Remember, that one didn't reach before. And connect here. Okay, so now we have kind of looks like a spider web. All right, so now what we're going to do, it's really important that we color. We're going to switch. This could get kind of confusing, so you have to be careful, but you're going to switch every other one. So I'm going to show you how this is going to work. So on this slice right here, where my lines are pointed toward the middle, I want this one to be black and this one to be black. Now when I switch and my lines are pointed up, I want the opposite. I'm putting a little dot to remind myself that I want those to be, I'm going to color those black. So remember, it has to be the opposite. We're going to keep doing that all the way around. So ev for mine, every line that curves toward the middle, I color two of these are going to be colored in black. and every every slice of the pizza where they go away. I'm going to color three of these. So here we're going to do this one here, this one here, and this one here. So what I want you to do is go ahead and mark with a dot the ones that you're supposed to color. All right, every other one. So this one's away and I'm going every other and it is the opposite of what has just happened. So we're going to keep trading that up and keep rotating your paper until we get to the end.
There we go. Now I have got all of my dots and what I'm going to do now is color. I'm going to color a couple of them so you can see this. I'm going to go back and you can use crayon. You don't have to use a marker. I always use a marker to show you so that you can see everything very well. But crayons are fine. Color pencils are fine. But I'm going to go through and I'm going to color in the areas that I have a dot on. Just like this. Remember, we've done the opposite all the way through. If you're using a marker, it's always good to put something underneath where you're coloring with the marker so that you don't get marker everywhere. If you're at home, I'm sure your grown-ups would really appreciate if you put something under here. So use a scrap piece of paper, junk mail, whatever, but I'm always going to do that too. And just start coloring in these areas. Now, remember it switches to the opposite, so here, I'm going to switch so it changes. This is optical illusion. As we color this in, it starts to look like our paper is kind of bending and waving through here. As you can see. go back and I color in a few little white areas. Remember I'm going to switch now, it's the opposite again, and I'm going to make sure that I keep this here. Color in this whole piece of paper. Now I'm going to switch to a bigger marker just to save time. Remember you can pause this video just so you can get your work done, but I'm going to go ahead and switch to, that way you can see what this is supposed to look like. And it's really important that we are careful on this kind of a project. It's important that we are very careful about where we put our marks and that we keep our lines nice and clean because this helps our optical illusion. Okay, boys and girls, go ahead and pause the video and keep coloring in these areas. I'm going to pause and jump back with you in just a few minutes to show you where I am.